Well, uh, welcome officially to the Eclecticast. Thanks for everyone who's tuning into this episode. Um, it's yeah, it's another another great episode. Today we have uh, a guest. Uh, his name is Josh Ocean Thomas. What's up, Josh? Hey, How's it going, man? How we doing? Thanks Look at for us coming on. Yeah, we're yeah. podcasting. Huh? We're doing it. This is the thing. So you were just mentioning that your mom doesn't even speak really good English. Where are you from? No, uh, she's Tunisian. Tunisian. She's, she's, she's celebrating Ramadan right now. Yeah. Familiar? No. Oh, how does Ramadan work? It's basically a bunch of Muslim people were like, we're not going to eat because oh. we love God. Okay. So they don't eat for the entire month of April during the day. So when the sun's out, there's no eating allowed. Really? You know, it's water. You can't drink anything. You can't <clears throat> eat anything. They were the first intermittent fasters, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's exactly. Cool. It's very strict. Sundown. They eat between sundown and sunrise. That's the only time they eat. But um, they yeah, they no excuses. My mom was like choking on her own saliva this morning. Like, Argh. I was like, well, drink some water. She goes, if it's my time, it's my time. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like no, you got to drink the water, mom. Yeah, that's she, not against the rules, right? No, it yeah, is. You can't drink water. You can't drink water. Can't drink water. Nothing. Yeah. She was like, "I'm gonna go for a jog." I was like, "You're gonna die. You're six so Are you years breaking old. your your thing? Or I am what they call a Muslim supporter. Okay. So I'm a you're an ally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an you. I'm an ally to the Muslims. I think they're good people, most of them, and uh, and I'll support it from a yeah. distance. I'll uh, say. Are you religious, or do you claim to? Uh, uh, is there a clicky claim? <laughs> <laughs> there's like, you know, <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of a click here. I am, um, I'm religious. You know, I believe in something, but I'm not like strict. Like my dad's, my mom does the Christmas thing for us. Okay. Right? Even just though she's to, Muslim? Yeah. Just, Interesting. Like, just so we fit in with my white friends. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? That's a supportive it, mom. It, it works, right? Yeah. yeah. So and, what, what is it that's something that you believe in? What's your... I don't know. You know what? Like there's no, like I don't read a Bible. Okay. So I don't be know. like Christ. You're like, you're like, you're hip with Christ. Yeah, I'm hip with Christ. Okay. That's cool. You know, like, if are I'm you ever, hip with Christ? <laughs> if I'm ever like need something, I'll be like, please God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. What just happened to me? That gave me that's, full body orgasm. Him, yeah. <laughs> it's the Lord speaking to Jesus Christ. The Lord is in me, baby. <laughs> uh, but that's cool, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm agnostic. So I feel you, you know, Christ is cool. Yeah. It's, cool. Like, it's a gets, cool story. She gets very grumpy during Ramadan. Yeah. She doesn't eat. Yeah, hangry. Yeah, know? she gets a little hangry. So I, I made my own version of Ramadan, where I just block her on the first, and I t- I'll talk. Just to mute the, her for the month. <laughs> yeah, mute her for the month, I'll talk to you at the end of it. Be like crashing <laughs> with him while you're staying in San Diego. Yeah, yeah. So I have my mom and dad here, divorced, um, and then growing up during Ramadan, I'd be like. I'm going to be with dad. So yeah. This should be court ordered. Oh, nice. <laughs> court ordered custody. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to stay with him for a month. That's cool. Uh, he eats. Okay. He eats? He eats food. Yeah. During the day? All year. All year. <laughs> All year. Yeah. Any, I mean, any time of the day. Um, Some strict rules, these people. Do you like working for a kayak place? Yeah. I forgot I was wearing that, actually. I do. It's fun. There's a lot of idiots. A lot of idiots. A lot of idiots. Are you, you what do you do for the kayak company? It's like a tour cut thing. So you do the tours? We do the tours. So you, you know, take the, them out? We take them out. Show them around? So many. Do you have any jokes in your... Do you, need, do you do any jokes in I, your... I, I used to talk tour? about it. I used to talk about it. Because these people... They're stupid people. people really? You get questions like, are you going to get wet? Are you think really? you're going to get a little wet? And I'm like, mm. yeah, there's a little more water in the ocean than usual. So you might be you might be getting a little damp today. But <laughs> these people are dumb. But we do like these snorkel tours. And uh, they're fun because we like we just take them out and we go swimming and we look at all, everything that's in the water. It's a good time. And uh, I, I shit on a tour once. Yeah. Yeah. It was, you shit. I, t- I took a shit on a in, tour in during, your... during the snorkel tour. And because I... Underwater on a kayak. We were on the underwater. We were swimming. You were swimming. We were swimming, and you took a shit underwater. (laughs) I did because (laughs) I I, and I learned something very special, and it's that shit does not sink. It floats up. It goes straight up to the top. That's something I learned. It's very buoyant. You never shit in the tub as a kid. I always. I I don't ever. You know. (laughs) <laughs> now that I, think about it, I guess it did float i guess it, i always thought the salt may have changed it i don't know it was i was i was in the moment okay i, I was in the moment and it caught happened. you off guard caught right. me off guard and these people were like oh my god josh what is that i was like i, think, I don't know like <laughs> did that tour guy just take a shit <laughs> they're like oh my god josh what's that behind you mr tour guide and i'm like oh that's like a what kind of fish is that? <laughs> that's a brown puffer fish. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. She's like, no, that's a shark shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, you're right. 
We should get out of here. It's a yeah. big fucking shark. You just chummed the water. <laughs> <laughs> big- oh no, he caught a joke. Yeah, That's fun. All now, right, so they're dumb. You get you get all these dumb dumbs coming all these through. Dumb dumbs. People. We got. I had someone on a tour. Gen real story. Yeah, they came on this tour blind. They said they were. They wanted to go see the sights. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. They came on a sightseeing tour, and I was like, "There's one requirement for this tour. <laughs> you have to see. <laughs> you have to be able to see." Was he out board. there with the cane in the water, just trying to like <laughs> <laughs> figure that's out like, what's around? There's a shark him. nearby. He just taps <laughs> the surface. Just up. Oh, that's a boat. <laughs> that's about. No, yeah. So that was rough. Blind, blind guy on a kayak tour. Yeah, I really had to describe those cliffs, and I've never had to. Definitely, <laughs> definitely improve my descripting talents. I guess. Wow, and like, no one can play. I, I'm still on the shit in the water thing, I guess. Yeah, like, I can't no just one, move on past no one, that right now. <laughs> no. It's like, how did no one complain? No, no one, one knew it was me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's 20 they didn't people see it around. Come out of you. Yeah, no, okay. they didn't see it come out of me because I'm a fast swimmer. So as soon as I. Oh, you swam way to safety. I you swam, kinda, you went and got your went own. went to the group. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what is that? <laughs> nice. Know? I was on the same. I was on the same wave as them. Who shit. And there's a, like I said, I thought it was going to sink. That was my bad. There's a, there's a lot of those companies out there. Do you guys ever have like a rivalry? Like you guys kind of like launch oh, out at the same time and you're like, nah, bro, I'm taking my people first. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No, these people, they don't know what they're doing. Up there. <laughs> these people are stupid. I swear to God, there's five companies and I work for two of them because like one company owns two, which, is oh, nice, okay. which makes us immediately the alpha company. But there's all these betas and they go out there and it is rough. <laughs> there's, there's one group. And all these kids, they're all young, all these people, they're all my age, you know, early 30s, late 20s. And um, that's not my age. I don't know why I said that. But, yeah. And then there's this one company, and they're all You're like, young 20s. I'm in, I'm in young 20s, yeah. <laughs> but then there's this one company, and it's all older people. And they are so boring. You you hear them talk to the their tours, and you're like, Jesus Christ, how the hell do you guys have any customers? It's awful. Yeah. It's not fun at all. <laughs> it's not fun. The, these people are ridiculous. A lot of <clears throat> tour guides that just moved in from like out of state too. Yeah, which doesn't make sense. To yeah, me. I have never, a buddy from Utah who's working for one of those tour guys down yeah. there. Why, <laughs> why do people from out of state that don't live here? How do they get to become tour guides? I have no idea. It's like someone showing up at a new town and being like, "Let me show you around." It's like you just got here. What are you talking about? Stand by. Something just weird just happened. Stand by. Just happened. Like all my cameras just shit the bed. Job is fun. It's a fun job. Oh, there, there we go. go. That's all right. So fucking weird. What happened? I don't know why that happened. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He's from oh. Utah. Oh, wait, yeah. Do you know Phil? Well, yeah, Do you work with yeah, Phil? Yeah, he works at Everyday California. Yeah, uh, Phil Overbeck. Yeah, fuck that guy. He's working, <laughs> with, he's working with the wrong company. I call him Johnny Utah. Just start calling him Johnny Utah. Oh, my God. No, I just, go. just call him a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, bitch. You're working for the wrong crew, bitch. You are are you going to try to recruit him? Oh, no. No, no, huh? no. No. Huh? He can stay over there. Once, you, once you've got that blood in you. Yeah. Because they're so lame that oh, all the other companies. Tainted, huh? So they're just tainted. tainted. They're tainted for no life. good to us no more. They make them wear rash guards. I've seen this kid in a rash guard every time I've seen him. Do you know uh, what Phil said is uh, when they asked him about like his qualifications for the job, they were just like, can you swim real good? And he was like, yeah. And they're like, you can do kayak tours. You can kayak tours. That's yeah. all you need. If you can talk to people and you can swim, you're good. That's all you need. That's all you got to do. But our company is like the most lax of them all. Really? Definitely. We don't have a uniform. We can go shirtless and shorts. They, they got the one Phil works for. They got to wear these fucking rash guards all the time. You know how many times I've seen Phil's nipples poking out through that rash guard? Oh, that's awkward. I hope he doesn't watch this. Oh, I hope he does. <laughs> I've seen, I saw his nipples three times yesterday. I saw him walk by. See his nipples first. He's a tall man. You could, you know, they're like very eye level. Exactly. Yeah, no, the nipples are right in my eyes. Right there, you know? No, but yeah, he works. He works at that company every day in <clears> California. <throat> Jesus Christ. The worst one. Oh my God! Can we bring us some kayaking up on the screen? Yeah, is probably. that possible? Can you maybe, put, maybe if if my uh, my my shit doesn't fall apart today. Yeah, no, that would be good. Ghetto fucking systems. I just ordered new new gear. Oh yeah. What do you mean? When I walked in here, I was like, "There's no way the systems are going to be ghetto." Let's see some <laughs> maybe some kayaking fails. Some like really oh kayaking bad fails. some bad kayaking. So we can uh, get your perspective yeah, like on what what the guy's doing wrong here. Or anything like 
out there? We I've got a fat bitches. Oh what? yeah, fat bitches. Fat, 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 fat bitches. <laughs> you don't have to whisper it, dude. It's okay. Yeah, you can say fat bitches. They exist. <laughs> they are a real thing out fat there in the bitches. world. <laughs> we have those. Oh, no, I'm gonna be canceled. I feel like I, I feel like they're more boring. Look, <laughs> I'm a fat bitch, and I'm not offended. All right, I'm not offended. Oh, we gotta we gotta get through this ad. Some people, you're you see them. Oh, this is good. This is white water. Yeah, yeah this is what oh. you. Oh shit! Uh, he got. They got fucked. That's this is pretty much sick. what you do That's in the little cove, like every day, right? Yeah, this is basically we bring a bunch of fat people from Arizona <laughs> and we put them in the water. We're like, hey guys, you got it. No, there's so many people Whoa. that I see almost die. That gave me attitude earlier, and I'm like, I have so much control. Help me! <laughs> Help me! What are you what, drinking in a, out of a shoe? What? What? So, how much of your job is drinking out of your shoes? Most of it. Okay, fair enough. Oh, this dude is getting penetrated. Yeah, and then he, <laughs> oh, oh my god! A waterfall? I feel like that's something you don't do as a human being. You shouldn't be doing that at all. Oh god! <laughs> Jesus. That's a jet ski. That's that's not a that's not a fucking not a kayak. kayak. There, it there it is. That sound effect. Um, oh, all right. Man. So, what would you do in these situations? Yeah. What's what, what's what, the, the you, protocol how do you here? Find yourself well, to get upright. Well, immediately. <laughs> well. If this is happening, you clearly <laughs> this man's dying. You clearly motion. put yourself. No one. This doesn't happen on accident. You know what I mean? You're not just walking down the street and all of a sudden you're getting pounded by eight thousand pounds of water. Just don't know why. What's what the appeal of this is? Oh, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go over some logs? What? Are you, come on, you <laughs> dumb, dumb dude. You, you fucking, fucking stupid. stupid. You stupid. All these kayak Man. dum-dums. Look at these guys. You know what I mean? Okay, just go under. Dude. So oh, there comes to, oh, another guy. Here comes seen. a guy to, <laughs> for the bottleneck. Oh, good. Now you're killing your friend. White people. See, here's the thing. Is us whites. <laughs> us, us whites. Us, whites. <laughs> us as whites. That's yes, what we do. We, we do stupid things like this that we know don't end up going well. Like dating other white women. But but in reality, <laughs> that bomb that was really sad. Yeah, yeah you're gonna be going on well, some shows. Provided I have canceled, so many, I don't think we have time. No, I'm just kidding. There's a few. Um, I got a couple. But we got some coming up. Uh, in May, I think I got like uh, a little bit more when it gets closer to May. I think, but all of my shows can be found on my Instagram at josh ocean thomas i hope i'm gonna go like this because i want him to put it right here okay then i'll just be groping nothing but there if go. there is something here it'll look cool so yeah, put there. josh ocean thomas i think it'd be better if oh we yeah <laughs> <laughs> if we just didn't <laughs> Jesus Christ. yeah big old bbc right there coming your way like, dude look what he's doing over there he got distracted do you, do you bring a hundred you, oh yeah, yeah. So that was weird. That was super weird. So I had posted it online, and I'm from I'm from <laughs> here. So I so I guess I don't know. But did you know all of those people? No, I knew like a handful of them. Okay. So it was very exciting. That was like the most people I've had show up from like me posting a show. Where where uh. That was really fun. Where where do you get uh, these follow? Did, are you a TikTok? No, are I you, are you a big t- TikTok guy. I, I got I got into a little TikTok. I hate TikTok. You hate it. I fucking hate. You TikTok. hate TikTok with like a passion. Really? Like a hundred thousand followers hate it. Don't. Like, like how how much do you really hate it? I that shit takes time. Uh, you can just get a hundred thousand followers. Yeah, I know. I just didn't. I've never liked it. I did it. Thank you, Ron. It started with me posting one video. I, thank you for the offer. Did you want a beer? Okay. No, no, it's over now. Beer. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go with my protein smoothie, guys. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> throw a little Modelo in there. I'm just kidding. No, but I um. Ooh, those are so cold. Um. Oh shit! What were we just talking about? You, how much you hate TikTok? Oh, oh yeah, and your hundred thousand followers. Well, no, I don't, I don't hate my followers. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't hate them. I don't hate them. I just don't like TikTok at all. It TikTok awards the dumbest shit. Like what? Give me a couple examples well, like, if you can. I don't know. Like I don't want to see like fourteen year olds dancing. What is that? Because then I feel. Because then when my clip doesn't do well, a lot of and then in Japan that I, will disagree. <laughs> I know. If, if you guys could talk closer to your mic, so oh, be awesome. Sorry. I am. Um, yeah. Here we go. No, but like I. Like, I don't like seeing these fucking, 
children sh- like putting their taints on the screen. I agree. And then no, you don't. No, it's really. Like, it's, <laughs> I talk a lot of shit about that, but like I'm a hundred percent with you. I think no. it's like one of the most deplorable things. And, and then that you put the internet up, is doing. And then you put up like a. And then you see these people posting their jokes that are good. Uh, it's getting twenty likes. Who's calling? Oh, do you want to answer that? No. Oh, answer it. Should I answer it's it? Mom? It's my friend Maddie. Well, that's sort of like mom. Oh, she hung up. Nice. But <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, and I hate it. It just rewards the dumbest shit. And I never have fun with it. And also, it's like there's no consistency. You can have millions of followers and your stuff will still not go out. They won't put it out in the algorithm. The huh. algorithm. I like Instagram reels. That's my thing. Yeah. Big Instagram reel. Yeah, guy. I like Instagram That's where I post reels. all my clips now. I stopped posting on TikTok. So do you think some of those people that came out to see you at, at the, the store were TikTok followers, I, possibly? I, some I, of them were. I heard, I even heard, I follow you on TikTok. Oh, no. I heard, I heard that. Do you still promote? I mean, so they follow you on Instagram. I don't even Instagram. promote on TikTok. They must follow you on Instagram. They must. TikTok followers, I don't think, come to shit until you get to, like, a big number. Well, I mean. Because I my guess, because I didn't even post it on TikTok, I posted it on Instagram. So maybe people went from TikTok to Instagram. That's what I'm saying. They probably follow you on both sites. True. And they like your videos on TikTok, and then they follow you for your comedy stuff on Instagram. And they're like, oh, they're going to be somewhere where I can actually go and see this guy live. Yeah. And they come out, and then you, yeah, you draw big, and... Yeah. Are you trying to talk me into going back on TikTok? I don't like, do it. No. Don't do I, it. <laughs> just I'm just, I've never touched the stuff. You no, know what I mean? I, like, I, I really I haven't. Stay away. I, I also I think. Really I, got also, into that. I also think that the Instagram reel situation, they always say when something starts, you got to get on it before it's super popular. And I think that's what Instagram Reels is doing. Because Instagram Reels, it's the same thing as a TikTok, but it's all in one place. You I mean, know what I mean? YouTube has like its own version of exactly. Reels, right? Yeah, the like real that. thing, the shorts. How much How much of that social media game, discovering the algorithm, applying that shit, like how, how much time as a young comedian, you just turned 21, you fucking are grinding like a motherfucker. Yeah. How much of your time grinding is spent fucking with social media? Not a lot. I actually, it really is so little effort because all you need is to be consistent. And the consistently has nothing to do with like Instagram. It just has to be like, I record my sets. I get a good clip of crowd work. I put it up. Like, so that's all it really is. And as long as you post on like a consistent schedule, then it's good. You're good. Yeah. You're in. You're in. But like if you post once a month. You're, yeah. I mean. Like, like how many hours a day? If you had, if, is it two hours a day, no. four hours a day? Do you engage with your fans? Uh, well, I don't even call them fans. I don't know. I don't God, know. this guy just seems like he hates his followers. Dude. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, um, no, I don't like, like I said, I, I just think the social media aspect is, is more interesting. Cause you don't see like, like, you know, 50 year old tour road, road comics. You don't see 50 year old guys out there making TikTok videos after every set. And for you, if you're sitting here saying like, oh, well, it's really not that much of a problem. I just take the 20 minutes after every set. Exactly. You know, and if I do it, do it three the, times a day, that's about an hour a day of making 20 minute posts. Cause you've got to add in you exactly. gotta click and fucking move the fucking and do captions all yeah. and all that. I'd so say so I, I post one clip a week. I post once a week, once every two weeks, if it, if it, if it never gets set that week. But uh, I post once a week, and I caption it, and I clip it right after the set. So as soon as I get home, I like, because it's still fresh in my head, I'm like, okay, I know exactly what part I want to post, and I'll write down like on my like notepad like where I want to clip it. I'll go home, clip it, caption it, and I'll put it up immediately. And then it's like out, because I hate being on my fucking phone. You hate being on your phone? I hate being on my phone. Okay. Well, but um, but yeah, it's actually the the reels. It does help because once you start posting a little bit, then the views start going up. And now, like, I'm getting pretty good views on my clips just from doing it consistently. How much of a struggle was it to get in and get good sets being under 21? Oh. Some of these clubs. I mean, I don't know what it's like in Chicago where you're primarily working, right? Yeah, it's Chicago, Chicago. Uh, treats me as if I was 21 from the beginning. So I never had trouble getting. There's one club in Chicago I couldn't get into, and that was Zany's Comedy Club. Zany's is a little bit more strict, and um, but back here I was able to get. I think I've done all the clubs in San Diego. Now there's Madhouse, Laugh, Laugh Factory, Factory American, American Comedy Company, and the, and the Comedy Store. Until Mike Drop opens, that's sure. what we got. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, I've done Mike Drop. He hasn't opened yet, but all the other ones have let you me used to be in. the Comedy Palace. Oh, that's right. I forgot yeah. about Comedy Palace. All the clubs were letting me in except the Comedy Store. So when I perform at the Comedy Store before. 
that last show I did was mm-hmm. the first show where I was well, you're like, 21, yeah. I'm allowed to be yeah. in there. So it was cool. Yeah, you're having a drink at the bar when I walked in. You're like, this is my first like legal drink at the comedy store. It felt like, very That's cool. That's very cool. It felt very cool. But I was like, now when you bomb, you can actually go deal with it appropriately. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah my sister didn't like that at all. You made my sister mad. Did I make <laughs> no, your, no, no, did I really? No. So I lived to do, man. She was like, you promised me you're not going to be an alcoholic, right? And I was like, oh. Yes. Yeah. Welcome to comedy. Kid. Welcome, Welcome to, to comedy, comedy, everybody. No, but um, that's one thing comics are really well known for is uh, taking it easy on the bottle. Yeah, taking yeah. it easy on yeah, the bottle. They're really. Yeah. I'm not good at like hard liquor at all. I try. I took a shot after that show. I went to this bar called the Shack and I spit it out. Good old Shack. And it was 1942. You spit it, out? it was an accident. Oh. And I took it. And it was more more than I thought. So it was like a by the mouthful. Oh, of no. What were you drinking? You've never 1942. Had a- apparently, and you spit it out. Spit it out. Expensive tequila. It was an accident. I like took the shot. It was a lot. I put it in my mouth, and then I was like, "That's so much tequila!" And then like it sprayed out. Just couldn't swallow it. Yeah, that's. I'm like a little bitch, a little bit. <laughs> but I took one with Mike Vin, and that went well. Is uh, <laughs> you what? I took a shot with Mike Vin, and oh, that went I well. I thought you said you tickled him, and I was just like, <laughs> "Whoa!" I, I have a question. You're, are, you, are you really getting blown out from your ears that way too loud? Oh no, not at all. Oh okay. No, no, no. Oh no, not at all. No, no, I just, Let should me. I put both on? Do I look? No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I just didn't know if it was too loud. I just, it was like I like to, if there's like an intruder, I want to make sure that I can immediately yeah, take yeah, action. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the safest garage in the whole area. But you, you <laughs> took a I feel like I'm going to get touched in here. I feel like, like gonna, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. why wouldn't you? Exactly. Wow. <sighs> okay. Scary. Um, Postpod. Postpod. <laughs> you took a shot with Mike Vin? I took a shot with That went down so smooth. But I had to really... Hold myself together, attack cool. Yeah, you it would be funny like, if you spit out your shot in front of Mike Ben. And then after I took it, I went, Mmm, that was really good. Delicioso. That was really good. <laughs> that, was, that was really good alcohol, Mike. <laughs> 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 so. That was fun. But uh, yeah, it's nice to be able to be in the store now because I used to sit outside with Matt, Matt right? Matt, so yeah. Oh, that's, that's rough. Yeah, so no, I love Matt. That's actually a good guy. I, I, I was at first very intimidated by Matt. What? Why is that? Hey, <laughs> very because I remember right. I was like, "Hey, he's like ID," and I was like, "Oh, I'm actually one of the comics." And he goes, "That's awesome, ID." Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, "Oh, it's different here." Copy that. Nothing gets by that guy. Yeah. Nothing gets by that guy except when I showed up for that show. My ID hasn't come in the mail yet. Yeah. So I pulled up with my the paper, my papers. Yeah. So I had my temporary ID from the DMV. I had my birth certificate. Mm-hmm. A uh, photocopy of my social security. <laughs> he came with everything. He came to fucking sign a loan or something. <laughs> and my uh, vaccine card. He's got his mom there. A photo like, of my passport. Like, no, he's mine. Fucking <laughs> let him in. He just wants to do the comedy for I'll three minutes. I'll co-sign. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, so yeah, it's cool. Definitely cool being 21. But like I said, I used to have to sit outside with Matt before my sets. And then after my sets, Matt would be like, or like, you gotta get the fuck out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. So it was cool to like actually walk around and like look at this. Yeah, to be in there and feel like you, you know, it's okay. Yeah. Is there a green room at that place? There is a green room in that place. Oh, where is it at? Uh, when you go through the curtains, oh, it's, uh, the door it's on the left, gotcha. on the left hand side. Never been back. Some history in there for sure. Yeah, yeah. They don't. They open that for like the only the weekends, right? For like the weekend headliner and all that fun stuff. No, uh, it's, it's uh, yeah. performers can always hang out in the green yeah. room. It's the green room. Yeah, if you're there, on, if you're there for best of, yeah, you can go oh, just sit in the green room if you it. want. Yeah. God damn it! I yeah, you could have jerked off in there with like so many other greats. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. I've done it. Is the cocaine piano? Is that in here? That's L. A. That's L. A. That's L. A. I got to see the cocaine piano at some point in my life. That's yeah. It sounds really sexy when the, I talk like that. I don't. I can't really think of another comedy club that has as many iconic uh, lore. Oh stories. yeah, the myths that's behind the, the store. Oh, no, yeah. the store. That's like the belly of the beast. The underground like, tunnels, like the ah, uh, like the, the what? The dragon yeah. underground tunnels. Yeah. Oh, what underground tunnels? They have like uh, they have like little like exits and stuff because it used to be like a mob hangout, so they'd have oh, like a secret right. like get out. Yeah, it's Bugsy Siegel's fucking joint. Yeah, it used to be Cicero's. Cicero's. What was it? Ciro's, 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 yeah. Ciro's. Um, but yeah, like there's been people that said that like the belly room is called the belly room because they used to do Abort? illegal abortions yeah, up there. Coat hangers. Yeah, but I don't know what the truth is behind all that stuff. That's uh, interesting. A lot of the haunted stuff, a lot of ghost kind of stories behind. You know, the comedy store. A lot of stuff's apparently happened. Jews love a good ghost story. I they never. Sure <laughs> they love a good. 
You know, Resurrection Tale. <laughs> Ghost Adventures went there. They did a fucking televised special at the comedy store. Did they really? I saw that. I like contacting saw. Brody Stevens. And, just, and it, it was would be fine. Insane. Yeah. Fucking nobody. It All right. Wait, retarded. can we pull that up? It's retarded. Is that it's real? Like not even worth playing. It's yeah, I'm, no? not, I'm, not, I'm not even giving them the, the yeah, click for that. it's so fucking stupid. Like, I would sooner bring up poop videos. Hey, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> well, How do you feel about poop there, poop Josh? <laughs> I know you poop in the ocean all the time. Uh, I'm a big poop hey, so guy. Big poop guy? Well, let's, let's find what? out. Uh, so it's all good. I pooped in the ocean before. Oh, no. I'm not pooping in the ocean, but I... <laughs> oh, no. I, he's taking us seriously. I shit Look at my the pants. Bar. Oh, yeah. Ron doesn't mess around. Yeah. Um, I'm, a, I'm a servant. I'm here for you. I, I I'm recently still really shit my pants. Guess poo. Who dumped it on YouTube? First thing to come up. Uh, yeah, that's a good... good Guess poo. It's a fun try to play when you're playing. Yes. Oh, that, that's <laughs> that looked like. All right, skip, skip oh. this. Oh, it's oh like animal, animal poop. Animal. Oh yeah, full, oh, full. Yeah. Let's let's go. Let's do this. It? Yeah, okay. let's let's yes. see what happens here. Who is your animal audience? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna find out. Funny you should ask. <laughs> On location, Africa. What the hell? See, now, what is this? This is a real thing. You're yeah. identifying yeah. animals. Put your camera down here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's definitely a this wall. guy. <laughs> has to be kidding. I know exactly what that is. It's def- definitely a wallaby. <laughs> yeah. This guy has to be so, kidding, yeah, right? I'm actually gonna. What I'm gonna do is go over South here. Africa, uh, which uh, is full uh, of animals. Oh no, this no, guy is sad. Well, cause now every single day. Hang on a second. Is this supposed to be educational? (laughs) (laughs) How to identify poo? Guess poo. Have you ever seen how giraffes? The title. Have you ever seen how giraffes fight? No. Are you kidding me? Giraffes. We'll we'll cue that up later. Oh my god! Giraffes giving birth. That shit's fucking crazy. Oh yeah, you gotta Uh, fall out of the five story building. (laughs) Just to come alive. Right out, dude. Well, that's um, if my mom gave birth and just like put her legs over the balcony and was like, okay, enjoy the fall. Just shat I, was you just out. To, I was just trying to get rid of that homeboy's watermark. Yeah. Yeah. There we yeah. go. All there right. Let's, I wonder what uh, happens. Eat, and then they poop. That right there. <laughs> oh, <yeah. is> a <laughs> wait, Jesus wait, Christ. Wait, is that giraffe shit? Is that smaller. Big bad is that for this, but not for the things that happened in the first five minutes of this podcast? You'd be surprised, dude. Some of the ones that we've uploaded. Uh, uh, honestly, some of the stuff that we've done pretty uh, fucking gotten away with has been pretty, <laughs> pretty disgraceful. Yeah. Uh, can we can we look up giraffes fighting, though? I, oh, I would like insane. to see how that is actually, what this guy's talking about. Oh, that's surreal. You're going to see this, and you're going to go, well, that is surreal. Or maybe something cool. Hold on. Hey. Disrespectful. That's what this is. <laughs> Disrespectful. <laughs> that, that was the time we had uh, Norm McDon- uh, McDonald as a guest. Um, yeah, you want me to look no. up giraffes? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a second. Giraffe fighting, yeah. Uh, Whose house is this? Who lives here? Nobody. Yeah, we just kind of found this. Giraffes <laughs> fighting? Yeah. Oh, look at this. This right. is crazy. This, this so you're... you're how did you stumble upon this? Where did this come about in your I'm life? I'm a freak. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this is, all right. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I it. feel like this is get you off. Or like, what, what do you mean by you're this? You're going to see what I mean. Weird, Look at this. What the? Giraffe. Giraffe. Look at this. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> now, you, you, you guys should. You're into this, huh? Be, do oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's so hot. You <laughs> fucked my wife? <laughs> I didn't fuck your wife. You <laughs> fucked my wife. You fucked my Take this. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yeah. You fucked my wife. So it's like whoever breaks the other guy's neck wins? Yeah. Is that? <laughs> no, literally. Until they get tired. That's so weird. Look, they're like, no, fuck. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're wow. not even kicking each other. What no, the no, it's just the heads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, fuck. Fighting style. Oh, come here. <laughs> you come here. Uh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that's giraffes. What else? Fight. What what else? What other weird things are Ladies you into? Gentlemen, what do you? What else do you? Fighting. Yeah. Oh, there, oh, there's that. Did you ever what out what animal took that shit though? All right, bro. <laughs> yeah, we didn't <laughs> find <laughs> out. Chris is over here. Like, <laughs> Chris is still on the shit. What about that man? shit, man? So, but I, I always I will I watch a lot of podcasts and like I I. I've never done a podcast where there's been the guy that's not on camera where you can hear his voice. I've always we wondered what that looks like. We got two guys. So this is an honor not. to see. I dig it. I like <laughs> you, on camera. Yeah, you can more than welcome. You wanna? You're a freak. How freaky can we get here? Like, what's what? How how far are you willing to go with this? Oh my god, I'm not that much of a freak. I like. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm only a freak when I'm alone. 
<laughs> when another person's involved, I'm like, yeah, what about if a no, no, just like what, what other, other cool things? Involved. What other cool things interest you? What's what's a, a life in the? I don't even think we want to. Let, let me just read you a few things that are on my YouTube recommended right now. Oh. Recommended, okay. It's so random. It's so random. Is it? Okay, so it starts with Gordon Ramsay explodes at a lying chef, and then Elon Musk takes over Twitter. And then officers' body cams captures the moment before their yeah, own. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's bad. And then the uh, history of unscripted Oscars and camera <laughs> falls. History <laughs> of unscripted Oscars. Oh, and then oh we have boy. Camera falls from yeah, airplane that. and lands in pig pen. Ooh, that that's looks, my that's YouTube interesting. recommended. That's interesting. Camera falls. We watched uh, uh, something falling on a camera phone last week. Look, I, I, no I would, I would show it to you again, but uh, I don't want to be a dead horse. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> or a dead kid. <laughs> Jesus, what is this video? Uh, there was a kid that fell off of an amusement park ride. Oh, I saw this. The drop ride. Yeah, right? you saw yeah. Oh, I saw that. You guys played that yeah. on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we did that last week. It, yeah. Oh, my God. You're shaking your head now. I, I like, wa- right, now I know where I'm at. I wa- yeah, I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, my roommate showed me that video. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But, um, geez, yeah, that video was crazy. Right? They just okay. kept it on him. Yeah. It was late. I think it Would you like to know yeah. more? Oh, Yo, for 100% sure. Died. Yeah. yeah. 100%. I mean, we could confirm it right now if you want to pull the video up. No, <laughs> no, no. I think we no. could. Speaking of dead things, how's your career? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Roasted. So I, I like your outfit. Oh, thanks, bro. You look like you drive the bang bus. I love it very much. The bang bus? The bang bus. You ever watch that? Uh, that those? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't pull it up. Don't pull up the bang bus. I'm not familiar with the bang bus, Ron. Can no, you pull it up? Ron, don't pull up the bang bus. Here we go to Patreon again. Uh, I love it. I love it. I just feel like you'd be on the wheel. Patreon just... exclusive. You on the bang bus? I'm in the front seat driving. Like, fuck. <laughs> you know what? I want to I wanna f- give him a reference. Yeah, we got to put some eyes oh, on Chris no. here. Chris, you're getting exposed. There's Chris. We'll do a poll on Instagram oh, just to see if yeah. uh, you look like the bang bus guy. <laughs> oh, Chris. We'll figure it out. We'll get, the, we'll get some of the people in on it. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, no, but like, what's what? What are things that interest you? Like, what are your hobbies? What, I, I'm what a big are, ocean. I'm a scuba diver. You like to scuba dive? I'm a big scuba diver. All right, oh, okay. I love. I like to scuba. Uh, favorite? Luda, you off the scuba? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, a fucking scuba. Favorite marine animal? Oh, uh, oh, uh, uh. Favorite marine? I would animal? say I think whale yes. sharks are super sick. Also, like whale sharks, like a humpback whale. Those are badass. Yeah, or a blue whale. Yeah, great whales. whites are my favorite. Yeah, I've, been, I've seen a great white. Have you on a scuba you, dive? Would you go cage diving? No, I do. Fr- I don't do the cage. You don't do the cage. No, I you like, would do free diving yeah, with a great white yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. a great white. Yeah, I've done it. You want to see? Yes. Here, look. Let's Can see. you airdrop it to Ross? Yes, yes, yes. All it's, the yes. It's not like a great video because it's kind of just like disappearing off into the distance. But hold on. Can you can you airdrop it to? Sure. Well, it's well, I have to like scream over it. It's on my Instagram. Hold on. Oh, it's on your Instagram. It's on your. It's, you know what? Uh, we, we could, could probably just pull that up. Pull your Instagram up. Yeah. Oh, great. Let's see. Well, yeah. Let's scroll through his Instagram and see no, weird shit that he's posted. <laughs> no. No, it's definitely not that one. Ah, uh, seems like a good idea. He's yeah. protesting it. So <laughs> that's how things happen on this podcast. People say no, and then we do <laughs> and then, them. And then we do it. it. But it's not even a gotcha podcast. It's not. It's oh, here. Not. It's look, just for fun. This is a little this. clip I was talking about. It's not like a very good video, but I was on oh, this you're dive. legit, dude. Look at you. Man, you can kind of see it. And that's look, fucking sick. You see it? Yeah. It's right there. Not the best video because all I had was like a uh, little GoPro that was like Still in my... Still very fucking cool. It was pretty cool. Look That's, at this. I would love to swim this with This is a baby one. Sharks, dude. And I like... Went, it was a very small one oh, at Del Mar. Look at that. I got a good video of this guy. So small. Dude, L- that's literally so a child. sick. It's a little baby shark, bitch. Dude, I've, 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 got, I've done the, the leopard shark when I come here to oh, nurse absolutely. in the Hoya. Oh, yeah. I was working for Greenpeace at the time and they paid for everything. We came down to the... Oh, yeah. Look, the look, that's and, that. There they are. Yeah, that's dude, it's so fucking cool, man. That's only that's that's as close as I've ever been to a fucking shark. You know? Oh yeah, 
I, but I've had they're a, my favorites. Had a, I got sur- I did a dive in Tahiti once. <laughs> Hey, fuck off. No, go fuck yourself. Can we go to the poop videos again? <laughs> yeah, bring the poop back up, dude. You better, like, overlay some of that, but you have to find some of that video. Otherwise, like, <laughs> none of that is usable. Oh, no, it's going, <laughs> it's going in there, dude. No, I um, I did this dive in Tahiti, and they, the like, were like, okay, there's no sharks around right now, so we're going to grab a fish. So we grabbed the fish out of, like, the water, and we killed it. They killed it, and they cut it up, mm-hmm. and they chummed the water. Little fish. I was like this big. And in like minutes, they did that while we're in the water, which I look at it now. I'm like, that was probably not the best idea. That's pretty slow. But then all of a sudden, <laughs> look at this. We were absolutely. Oh, look at those black tip reef sharks. Black tips. We were surrounded. Wow. That's like a whole convoy of them. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I was, it just kept coming and there was hundreds of them. Ocean stuff. Huh? It's pretty, pretty cool. Follow that Instagram page. I like that. Ocean stuff. Yeah. Dude. Ocean stuff. What? I like the ocean. Okay, uh, so that's your. Speaking of the ocean, uh, you, th- you think there's aliens at the bottom or what? Oh yeah, there's some great, cra- there's like a whole. I think. There's Would like you like to know more? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Let's get uh, into it. No, there's there. I think there's some crazy shit down there. There's really? gotta be. Like what? what I don't know. Have you seen that oarfish that popped up in La Jolla like two years ago? No. The oarfish. Oh my god, the oarfish. We didn't say. Look up the oarfish. Uh, the oarfish it popped up in La Jolla two years ago. Please, man, the fucking oarfish. I don't think it was two years oarfish. ago. I think my time is kind of not very good. I think it was years ago. Just look up uh, oarfish. O r e. Oh, yo, you ever seen a blob? Washes it's up in La Jolla. Oh, blobfish are ugly. Yeah, those are the ones that look like this. They're like a meme. They look like this, bro. Like, yeah, uh, <laughs> a rare lance fish. No, or oarfish. Oarfish. Or yeah. O a r. Like. Oh, O a r. My like, bad. Like the band. Look up images, and it Four should be right there. Hold ashore in La Jolla. Yes, yeah, this is With the OEO personal gym. Who is that? Whoa, over. Hey, buddy, <laughs> fucking, let's take Whoa, it. Whoa, dude! Skip. <laughs> this is not brought to you by. Hey, take a look at this. this take a look at this. No, this is crazy. I was like, I, I was younger. I was on the beach this day, and they interviewed me, and they cut me out. Is that why you're just pitching your your reel here? Is that you? No, they didn't. They didn't put me in. <laughs> Look, but that's where I work. Here's that's the whole of shores. Are they an official sponsor of this now, or did? <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> oh my god, my mom's gonna watch this. She's not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. It washed up. This is a deep sea fish. These things live in thousands of feet in dark water. Look at that thing. What the fuck? Yeah, that pull up. Look, that's La Jolla. That's right here, down here. This is Wind and Sea. You guys know. It, but is it yeah, is yeah. it dead? Yeah, it's so dead. Okay, well then. Look at this fucking thing. Fuck it, dude. Wow. That's, uh, yeah, dude. That's, that's that, a fucking alien. Yeah, that's an alien. <laughs> and they had one of those angler fish wash up a few weeks ago. You know, those are the ones with the light bulb that come in front of their oh, face. Really? Oh, those like, are you know, teeth. And shit. Oh yeah, that's the crazy. big fucking teeth. I I think there's some scary bitches down there. Fuck yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, I mean, I'm secretly praying that there's a megalodon still out oh, there definitely somewhere there in is. the deepest parts of the ocean. There's no way that there's a giant squid and not a giant shark. Yeah. No, there's fucking mermaids down in that motherfucker. Oh, right yeah. There. There's some weird, demented, human-looking aliens. Yeah, 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 I don't know why Elon Musk is going off to Mars. Just go to the fucking what if shore. Elon Musk is that's one of those weird-looking aliens because he's kind of a weird-looking dude. But, I, like, I what I if totally he, like, escaped from the... Well, he's Australian, dude. dude. He's South African. <laughs> He's or South Asperger's. African. I don't know. Australian. Yeah, it's, dude. It's well, you know, I've said some terrible things. <laughs> yeah. But what, but what you just said was pretty bad. What I just said? Yeah. About I said he has Asperger's. <laughs> no, you said he was Australian. That's way worse. I said he's Australian. <laughs> yeah, I, said he's Australian. <laughs> I said he's Australian. <laughs> it's like, what's that he difference? just ripped his own joke. I love that so much. <laughs> Boom. That's funny. Speaking of jokes, Rafa, you gotta you gotta tell you gotta you gotta tell him about phone game. Yeah, that was actually one of the best moments of working in a comedy club. Uh, we did this bit as door guys at the comedy store where um, pretty much it just like you know put up like a phone and just like oh sorry I gotta take this, but you just use whatever's around you. Copy that and that's like good. whatever is creative enough, like that's what you use. And um, as a door guy, you have to go up and do the rules. You know yeah. what I mean? Like on shows. And so it's like fucking sold out fucking Josh Wolf show. 200 fucking people in the crowd. Was this last night? It was Saturday night. 
and I am. Well, it, go, it goes on for days. Well, I mean, we've been doing this for every shift that we worked, you know, for like mm. weeks. But like, like it started out like it was like a pen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know, and like my wallet, you know, like uh, I used it as like a flip phone. I would just open it and be like, "Sorry, I gotta take this." Um, and I don't know, like one of the coworkers, like one of my coworkers, Dusty, he wasn't having a really great day, and he was just kind of feeling it. So I was like, "Dude, let's fuck around." You know what I mean? Like, let's let's do the phone bit. And uh, second show, fucking, I go up. And he is in the front row. And Dusty. He, yeah. <laughs> and he has asked a table if he can use their menu. And he puts the menu up to his face. And as I'm panning from one side to the room, and I hit the middle, and I just see him. And he goes, hold on, I got to take this. And just walks away with their menu, dude. No way. <laughs> and I just almost froze. Like, I was just so, I was, it caught me off guard. And. Then I had to like keep doing the rules of the fucking show and I got off stage and he's like, were you mad? And I was like, I was pissed because of how brilliant that was. That was <laughs> such a well time. Did the crowd love it? I mean, the, that table did. <laughs> well, that's the, and that's the beauty of it. It's like, it's such an inside joke. Yeah. No one really knows that they just got suckered into like a big joke betwixt the door guys. So it's like that's one good. customer is like giving like, I don't know why the fuck do you need my menu? What are you doing? So are you then doing? Oh. last night we're all working again. <laughs> And fucking, I'm sitting at the, I, get, I get cut, so I'm sitting at the bar, and I'm just talking to like some of the waitresses, and this audience member comes up to me, and he just goes, hey man, and I go, oh, this is not going to be good, whatever the fuck is about to, cause guy was wearing a unicorn onesie with no. a bunch of galaxies yeah, yeah, on it. Dude, it no, like he's a, a convict. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I was just that. like, oh, this isn't going to go good, whatever's happening now, and then he just pulls out a water bottle from his pocket and I was just like fuck what's he gonna do with that and then he puts it up to his ear and he just goes hold on I gotta take this and I just look over and Dusty's standing behind <laughs> and I was like fuck <laughs> you dude oh, fucking and the best part was this guy grabs the fucking water bottle and he goes actually it's for you and he hands me the <laughs> water bottle and I was like god damn it oh, fuck. so now Dusty has set the bar pretty fucking high pretty high Pretty high. Speaking oh. of pretty high, can I get a bonk toke there? Sure, buddy? sure. Do you enjoy practical japes there, dude? Do you? Are you a practical joke guy? I do like a good practical Yeah, what, when was the last time someone pranked you Aside really good? Aside from shitting on your whole tour group. Yeah, that was a pretty good prank. <laughs> that was <laughs> literally shat on. Um, <laughs> I did a good one on April Fool's. Um, oh, yeah? That was pretty... Good time. It's a good time. Pretty good. I'm, try I'm trying to remember exactly what happened. I basically... It wasn't I basically told my oh, fuck, how did it go? No, I don't want to quote it if it was if I don't remember how to what happened. Oh, this is definitely something that people are gonna quote. <laughs> you know. You don't you don't want to misrepresent yourself on this show by I, any means. I've, I've had a I've had a few. I feel like April Fools, I feel like it's one of those days that you forget it's April Fools until yeah. like one o'clock and you're like, I didn't plan anything. So I just kind of told my uh I, I came out to my mom. <laughs> on April 1st when it was like April Fool's yeah. <laughs> it was at like a nice dinner with my sister and my mom came out as what? gay <laughs> 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 I, just, I sat there I was like I'm gay <laughs> like you were just got out of an 18 long month of relationship and I was like I know and I'm gay and my mom was like I I love you, Stan. <laughs> you can see. <laughs> 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 and then and my sister was like, crying. my sister is like a libtard. So my sister was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> and then how much did she hate you after you were and like, I'm not like, actually gay. And I was like, so I was like, I'm not gay. And my sister was like, that's not cool to joke about. <laughs> yeah. Your mom's like, but, but you're still a lifeguard, right? <laughs> 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 There's this old uh, Howard Stern where Artie Lang does that to uh, George Takai from Star Trek. Yeah. Like right after he, you know, was making all kinds of moves in the fucking LGBT community or whatever. They had him on. And like the whole bit was going to be like Artie was going to come out to him like privately and then like get him to do it like on air or whatever. I forget exactly what it was, but huh. it was just like almost like too fucked up. Like they were just like, dude, this is kind of like. I mean, it's Artie Lang. Not even funny. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's too good. Did you guys ever see the Eminem? Uh, like, uh, fuck, what movie was that in? 
It was, uh, you know, and like Ray Romano did a cameo in it, and like Eminem was, uh, you know, oh, but he's shit. like, yeah, I'm gay. And like, oh, dude, that was uh, oh, the interview. The interview. With, uh, yes. Oh, oh yeah, with James Franco. Yeah. yeah, Seth Rogen. Dude, that was so fucking. It's cool. like, and then like, yeah, like he says like he's gay on air or whatever. Yeah, yeah. He's he, like, he, he just he's gay. He just say he's gay. <laughs> he's gay. <laughs> she gets pissed. And that then he goes like, through his lyrics, <laughs> and he's like, "What? What part of that? I mean, what? That's gay." That's like, oh man, that's up there. I was just thinking that it's on the. What level of fucking movie humor is that? Never mind. Ron got stony baloney. Okay. Okay. Moving on. You're doing good. I'm doing great. You're doing so good right now, dude. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, as I just check my email. Hey, yeah, you said you didn't like being on your phone a lot, yeah, man. man. You're What's going on? I know. I'm sorry. I got an email notification. I thought it was important. He's an <laughs> addict. It was actually. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> what was the email? It was a spammy email. Yeah, this know. is actually an intervention. It was, actually, <laughs> it was from Planet <laughs> Fitness. Yeah, you work out. Oh, a lot. Aren't, you you glad work out. aren't you glad you blew up? Like, <laughs> fuck you, Conan. <laughs> fuck you, Jay Leno. I got to take this email. I gotta, you got to take this email. Planet <laughs> fucking <laughs> Fitness. You know, just to be sure. Just I didn't know sure. it was something like an op. What if it was an oh, opportunity? Oh, like what? Eddie Murphy's <laughs> on the line right now. Eddie what Murphy do you, what just do you, needs a new opener. What do you got coming down the pipeline that you're like, oh, I hope I get <laughs> that. Let me check my email right every second. I sent it into a club that I really want to be at. Which club? It's called, uh, oh, this is a great club. I think it's genuinely one of the best clubs in the oh, world. Okay. Um, Hooters. It, <laughs> it, it, it is called Comedy on State. It is in Madison, Wisconsin. Okay. It is genuinely one of the most beautiful clubs in the world. It's not as historic as like the comedy store. Like, like Yo, nothing Wisconsin really. crowds fucking rock. No, genuinely. Wisconsin rules, dude. I will go to Wisconsin like, anytime. It, they have this open mic every Wednesday, <laughs> and I drive from Chicago once or twice a month to do it. It's like a three-hour really? drive. I do it once or twice a week because it sells out 300 seats. Wow. Every single week, and it's all students from University of Wisconsin Madison. Oh, so young kids. So huh? it's all college kids. Yeah, three hundred seats sold out. They're all drunk because they do like two dollar margaritas or something crazy, and it rips. And they send you like a really nice clip too. Oh, all it's the all fancy cameras. Yeah, it's all fucking. And they they rigged up with cameras, and like the audio comes out of the microphone, and the audience is mic'd, and they send it to you like two days later, and it's free. They just yeah. give you a clip. Damn. And then so I sent them one of the, and the guy was like, yeah, we'll get you in here to host a weekend. And they get some big names too. Like, so it's really cool. They get like A-list names a lot. Like Jim Gaffigan was just there. They got like really cool stuff. Mark Norman, Taylor Tomlinson, who is San Diego mm -hmm. local, I heard, right? Yeah. <clears throat> but um, comedy on state, Madison, Wisconsin. If you're ever in the area, you got to check it out. Yeah, I love that club. So very cool. That's what I was hoping that email was from. Oh, okay. <laughs> Every email that comes in, you're like, "Come on, uh, comedy on stage." Let's, it's let's just ask IKEA the kayaker. Hey, Josh, if, uh, I haven't seen you in IKEA in a while. Ask <laughs> the kayaker how often he's working out. Um, so you guys all perform here a lot in the city. What's what like? Are you doing? I'm just trying to fix this. Now it's too high. Do you, Do you guys have like a favorite spot in San Diego? The comedy store. It's a comedy store. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, those crowds were at. Yeah. Um, when they're hot, they're hot. I don't know. I I like I like ACC's room. I like that it's a fucking basement downstairs. That I like pretty cool. it. Kind of transport you to this other world kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. I like that about that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, th I think Madhouse is a good workout club. Like if you do like the Wednesday through Sunday in the brick room, it's like you know, there's like usually anywhere from uh, I don't know four or five people in there to like you know twenty people. Yeah. you can just go back there and work out three minutes of a set and see what you know new jokes and <clears throat> it's like low risk. I mean, even at the right times on like Mondays or Tuesdays, there's like you know a good amount of people in there. I was at Madhouse. Last I don't like night. the main it's stage mics. Yeah, you hosted right? Yeah, I hosted while. there last recently. Night. I was like, okay, I can. I think I'm starting to see a reason to fucking do this i like doing them i like doing the main stage shows i don't I like mean, doing I the main the stage big, mics yeah. yeah i did the main stage mic once that was rough it's pretty it's so big the room's so big and there's like three people there yeah and a lot the of the times mic. i mean those those people are fucking there just for the cheap drinks yeah. on monday and tuesday and they have nothing better to do they're and not really there to see comedy piece of ass i mean let's be real what that's that's they, they're there for cheap drinks and to heckle some sweet tail. 
Hell yeah. You guys are just up there shaking it for him. Pretty much. <laughs> giving it away. Yeah, for free. I, I do like the scene here in San Diego. I do like the scene here in San Diego. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. I really do. It's it's very fun. Your guys' crowds are impeccable, I would say. I think they're like tour crowds, you know? It's always different fucking people, and there yeah. there's a lot of people from all over the country that are out here, are, you know, checking out comedy, so it's... You get a diverse bunch. Chicago's very much like these crowds go to comedy clubs. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're comedy club crowds that go to comedy clubs. They're regulars at the comedy club. They're comedy fans. Comedy fans. So yeah. it's like if they're not liking you, they're not going to give you nothing. Yeah. 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 So it's a little, di- I mean, it's a good place to sharpen your teeth, I feel, out here. Yeah. You know, it's a really good place. And then you go somewhere else and you can fucking so just close throw to down. LA. That's pretty close. Yeah. I um, I, Do you ever go up to the store in LA? Not well. I used to go before the pandemic. I used to be there every Monday night for potluck. They would do their open mic. Oh, you gotcha. know, Kill Tony would be happening on the main stage, and it was just the biggest hang. I mean, you had comics from every scene coming to hang out in one spot. Yeah, and you know, and there's the big guys too. So I used to be there all the time. That's awesome. Uh, but since the pandemic, they never brought back the the mic and stuff. You know, um, so most of the nights that they're putting on good shows you know we're i'm working down here on the shows that we have going on or on comedy so you get you guys get good stage time being a door guy don't you uh it varies depending on uh who who they bring and stuff uh sometimes we have opening spots uh on the weekends and everyone gets a good chance of getting up um but on yeah we have like uh, you know our two shows but yeah, we get good stage time cool. over there. I mean, the stage time is so good. Yeah. Like, when we get up, it's just so fucking so, worth it. So fire. Because they are people who has... Most of them have seen this as an institution that breeds good comedy yeah. or has good comics. So they're coming out to see comedy, and they want a good time. Mm-hmm. You know? So if you can make it work, it's, like, really... It's really fun. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, my... Like I said, my dad's lived here his whole life, so he was like, oh, I remember seeing, like, Sam Kennison there and all that yeah. fun stuff, like, right there in La Jolla. It's so crazy. All those names on that wall are people who have actually stood on that stage and headlined. And, yeah. like, that's why, I don't know, there's a lot of people try to get on the stage and take photos, and we're very, like, no, you got to get off the stage. And it's just, like, that's, like, sacred ground. If you think of all the people who have stood up the there. Stage. Yeah, oh, we're exactly. very adamant. And people don't understand that that respect. No, that stage is very important. And to get up there as a door guy, you know, I think about it almost every time when I'm walking up on the stage. It's like, this is where, like, my hero is. Is that why you're trying to, to fuck up Dusty while he's reading the rules? <laughs> <laughs> no, he legit just forgot the fucking feature's name. No way. <coughs> that, that's happened to me. He forgot because you fucked him up. Well, I went and ra- I went and grabbed the frisbee. We have a, a Hollywood. <laughs> a, we have a comedy store frisbee that we sell and shit, and it's just always hanging up there. And I went, I. Dude, I, you can ask, I've, I never run like for anything in my life, but I fucking game. ran to grab this Frisbee so I could go and do the phone <laughs> bit. Oh and I was standing God. there. I was standing in front of the feature just like, hold on, dude. And then he just like fucking spaced, man. He just, I, but I, he was like, should I tell him? And I was like, no, don't, don't ruin the phone bit. Because <laughs> if you tell him that we were like <laughs> jerking off, you know what I mean? If we were yeah. just, yeah, we were goofing off. We were totally, then uh, we're going to get in trouble for not being professionals. So. But it's like, yeah, it's fucking door guy shit. And they don't even. Like Ron says before, they don't even really realize that we're playing these games with each other, <laughs> which is fun. I, I we're just on a <laughs> little trip, you know. I did the friends and family show on Tuesday, and I went up before Steve's Steve's Shustek Shustek Shustek. Yeah, and I forgot to bring him up. Yeah, that was the hardest. Cause that's that what that I forgot. Like, they told you to bring him up. Yeah. Ah, oh, that hurts. And yeah. like, cause like you do the shotgun mics here. Yeah, but, and like yeah. I, well, it's tag team. Yeah, All like, the showcase shows are tag yeah, team. Yeah, tag team. I have never. That's like so foreign to me because nowhere in Chicago has ever done that. No, I've never been to another club that does that. I know yeah. like Comedy Store like does that, and I was like, oh, I gotta bring up Steve. Shannon. I gotta bring up. So I was like, I had it in my head. I even had my little like note, and then after my set, I was like, All right, thanks. My name is Josh. Good night. Bye. And I walked off stage. And then I was like, where's the host? And I was like, oh, shit. So I ran back on stage. And I was like, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Steve Justin, everybody. Oh, oh, fuck, was, man. That was like the week of forgetting names. Because oh, I, so I, I, I biffed it. Uh, yeah. Dusty biffed it. <laughs> you biffed it. Like, But uh, have you ever done the whole name on your finger trick? 
Oh, you put the name on the finger. Yeah. Yeah, right. Like if you So you got to like grab the mic your, uh, middle finger. and it's just right that's there. That's smart. So it's like, yeah, if you're looking at the mic, you can just look down and be like, oh, yeah, Steve Shushtet. Oh, interesting. I'm I put it on my arms when I go. grab the stand. Oh, I'm looking at. Oh, I said my, my mom, she's uh, she's 61. If she's a day. <laughs> she, she's a little bit older. <laughs> She's a 60. I think she's 62. Mid 60s. I don't know. I think I got that. And she's wrong. currently not hydrating. So he and she's to, not high. She's not you know? eating and she doesn't feel good. And I'm like, mom, drink some water. And well, she doesn't like, feel I good because she's not drinking water or eating. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's an easy. And, and, oh, that was the laptop. That was your laptop, bud. Oh, Let's oh, see. shit. That's not good. Is it off? Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck yeah! Say it. Yeah. 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 Great yeah. podcast content. Yeah. 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 Just took a, 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 a three foot dinger, thirty six inches. But hey, man, the Lord's looking out for me today, baby. The, oh yeah. What time, been do, what time do you have to be out just to be specific? Um, I would say preferably around like maybe a little after two. Okay. Right. I uh, but like I said, yeah, my mom's a little. She's not drinking. She's not eating. And she woke up with a headache, and she was like, "I don't feel good." I'm like, "Yeah, because well, you're not eating or drinking. Drink some water." And she's like, "No, I she's can't do be it." Mad at you when you I come home drunk. It. Oh right, I know. I'm gonna no, try to convince I... her to drink some water. That's that's the Muslim lifestyle. You gotta convince Tr- your parents yeah, to I drink hope your mom water. Has a, a happy Ramadan. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's a whole month, uh, as they say in Tunisia. You say Ramadan Mabruk. That's how you say Happy Ramadan to Where the, the Muslims. Fuck is one Tunisia. Time? One more time? Tunisia. It's right next to Narnia. It's a neighbor's. No, it's like right next. It's like it's like on the top. It's, it's in and then like Libya's right here. Morocco's right here. It's technically in Africa, is it not? It it's is. Yeah, it is continent. technically in Africa. It's like right <laughs> under Morocco or right around Morocco. Yeah, right oh, around okay. Morocco. Here, I'll, like, I'll show you. It's like right around Morocco and. Um, like Libya and all that fun stuff. Right I used here. to know a girl whose family was Tunisian oh, and Algeria, she was Algeria. absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's fucking Africa, Just dude. did not like <laughs> my white ass. Fully Africa. It's for sure Gorgeous. on the continent of Africa. <laughs> for sure. It is. <laughs> my, okay, you guys got to help me book this. Okay, so I know that Hawaii is part of the United States. Sure. Okay. But it's not part of the North American continent, correct? Uh, no, it's an island. Exactly. Yeah, My sister was like, no, it's part of the continent. I'm no. like, no, it's not. No, it's not it's part of anything. Yeah, it's, it's an island. We yeah, claimed it. We came as, it's part of the country, but not the continent. Right. Yeah. Okay. No. Just make a try. What's stupid? It's called the Hawaiian Islands. No, it's like Hawaii didn't break <laughs> off of something. Hawaiian ethnics. No. She like a, uh, is she like a flat earther or something? She's not. She's a libtard. Oh, uh, okay. Wow, you are really <laughs> anti libtards. <laughs> no, I'm a liberal. You know, I <laughs> did he do air quotes when he said that? I no, I'm a liberal. <laughs> I the only thing I can't handle. I go to a liberal arts school, Hawaiian and I can't handle Island, people that uh, like to get you know, their feelings I mean, hurt what, all the what, time. What, what, okay, what exactly. Do you I, want me to Google here? Look up is, Ho- is Hawaii part of North America? Is Hawaii part of the America? North American continent? I'm so curious. Well, I think it we've is. I think we've debunked it. It's not. <laughs> In my opinion, it, they're fucking islands that we just claim territory of. Exactly. But I am not anyone, uh, so I, I don't know. I retarded even uh, doing this. But, uh, <laughs> Their flag yeah. is Hawaii intense. Is cons- Their flag Hawaii is considered to be located in Oceania. Yeah, there we go. The uh, continent of Oceania. <laughs> Oceania, there we go. Uh, right next to Atlantis. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Fucking in between Atlantis and Narnia. Uh, no wonder uh, Jason Momoa looks so, yeah, the way he does. No, uh, Ah, uh, Jason Momoa is sexy. Just so people That's are clear a sexy on what guy. we're doing. Oh, Shanna. This is where we're getting our information. We're not, you know, flat earthers or whatever. If the earth was flat, at least you could push retards off of it. <laughs> 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 I'm taking it. Oh, yeah, let's end, let's end it on the poop video. You end it on the poop video? Let's end it on the poop video. On the poop video. Oh, you hey, mean, you guys, this is a lot of fun. In. Hey, did you have fun? Really I actually though? had a good time okay. with you guys. Yeah, it's just it's just silly fun time. It's silly fun time. I had a silly, fun, silly time. fun time. But uh, I also I had a great time hanging out with you at the store this week. Yeah, that no, was same. really fun. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad I had a. At one time, I really had to poop. That that looks like someone else's sketch comedy. I'm not gonna promote <laughs> someone else's. Sketch no, comedy let's not do that. Unless, I'm, I'm glad Thursday went well because Tuesday was not hot for me. Tuesday's uh, you know it's a fucking three Thursday. hour mic man. 
Right. Well, yeah, exactly. Guess who, who po- Thursday who was fun. I had a great time on Thursday. How to take the best poop according to science. Let's do it. Let's have that in the background. They're going to tell you to squat, bro. Watch. Wait, really quick. I need someone to remind me her name. She works at the store. She was working on Thursday night. Kylie Drew. Uh, she is so funny. <laughs> yeah, we were just exactly the same last night. We <laughs> photographed. We Yo, the same exact oh, I saw her. you were on her story. Yeah, yeah. You guys, she was going something like with her hands. She was doing some weird. Yeah, we were doing a little. Yeah, weird. they were doing like the. the I saw yeah. that. Yeah, I think she's so funny. I saw. Yeah. She's great. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Um, um, well, you guys, you guys just talk. You guys just yeah. talk. Have a good time and, with this in the background. Yeah, just have that in the background while there's, you know, oh, this. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what the fuck is happening? Right now? <laughs> End <of the> show. <laughs> Holy shit! What a closer. Yeah. Oh my god. Good thing I left my glasses at home. No, no. I'm sorry, no, that was incorrect. No. It's actually this is the end of the show. Yeah, that Here comes. Go. This later. is the end of the show. Uh, thanks for watching Alarm Red Media's uh, presentation of the Eclectic Cast. I can't really you hear you very well. I was saying that you should thank your guests. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. And, thank you guys uh, listening to us uh, talk. I and, had a great time. You know, we yeah. we had fun. Yeah. We had a few laughs. A few uh, of them. We had a There's few a couple in there. There's a couple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, yeah, I had a great time. I had this protein smoothie the whole time, which I finished. <laughs> and uh, that's it. Thank you guys. Yeah. How about I send you a Oh, yeah, like I said, Josh Ocean Thomas on Instagram. All my show dates are highlighted in my bio. They get updated every month. And uh, my website will be out in like three days, jotcomedy.com. Oh. That's a month and three days ago from when this comes out. But yeah. Oh, yeah. By the time this comes out, you can check out my website, jotcomedy.com <laughs> or joshoceanthomas.com. I haven't decided. <laughs> but it's coming out in three days. It's coming out in three days. It's gonna be one of those URLs. So I'll find it out. Why is it so sad? Oh no, he's playing the music. Oh, I was gonna say, like, why would they put this over school? Do you ever shit yourself? <laughs> do, you, do you do you ever have problems with your bowel movements? Oh, I've used it. I've got a trick for you. Not bad.